Now, demolition experts are still trying to bring down a tower block in Merseyside more than 24 hours after explosives failed to make it collapse. Yeah, there's two empty blocks of flats uh, supposed to be levelled yesterday, but one of them is still standing, and nearby residents have actually spent the night in a hotel for their own safety. Stuart Flinders sent us this report from Seaforth. There was quite a turnout for Seaforth's Big Bang. It turned out to be a whimper. First, nothing. Then, one block, Churchill House, suddenly collapsed. The second, Montgomery, stands defiant. For their safety, nearby residents have been moved out. They don't know when they can come back. I've had more information and I've been told more off Facebook and friends than I have off them. Well, who's in charge? I haven't got a clue. No, one, no one's holding their hands up. Some are being allowed into their homes, but only to collect important belongings. Well, my mum's just going in for some uh, medication. All right, so they let her through to get a, get a yeah, tablet? Yeah, one at a time, yeah. The defiance of two buildings named after wartime heroes has brought out the spirit of the Blitz in some. What did they do in the war years? People just helped each other in the war years. If you had a family, you went to there, didn't you? Same, same thing. As for when the second block will come down? And we're going to be trying to induce a control contract later on today. What time? I don't want to give any times. At the moment, we're trying to keep people away from the area. It's yeah. obviously not a safe activity, demolition. You so don't want people turning up to watch, basically. We don't want people putting themselves in danger. All everybody can do now is wait. Windows. 